Hello everyone and um, Google has just, Google My Business uh, uh, has just announced a new feature for everyone. It, it was pretty much reserved for the, the popular and famous uh, beforehand but now you can actually post. So when someone does a search for your name or your business name more importantly, what comes up is these articles. You can actually have articles now in a post. Okay, uh, the images work in a square, so they're not that uh, great for displaying much of the image, especially like I've got with the titles on the image, but that's fine. Okay, so um, how to get how to get this on your site? Well, obviously, first you want to have a uh, Google My Business account, and if you're logged in with your Gmail, you can check to see um, or your or your Google account. You can uh, you can check to see if you're already in there. Okay, tells you all about it. If you're in business and you want to attract new customers and you want customers to find you, then I don't know why you wouldn't be on here. Um, you know, it, it probably brings me anywhere from 500 visitors a month and probably two to three phone calls a month. Um, and, you know, I'm just a web, little old web developer. So, so yeah, so once you've got your account, um, you might have a number of businesses. I've got a number of businesses. Um, and then you'll have to select which business it is. But if you don't have an account, you'll have to go through the sign-up process. Google will send you a postcard, and on that postcard will be a code to verify that's your address. You don't have to serve customers from that address. You can say, I serve customers at their location, which is pretty much like what I do, even though I don't really meet many customers. In person, I talk on the phone with them a lot. So you would select the second option, and that way your, your business will show up in the search results for that region, but it won't show up your exact address. So sign up, and if you've signed up, you're going to manage your business, and then you, once you pick, select your business to manage, you'll come here, and, and this is um, your, your desktop profile type thing. And then you click on Posts, and it will show all, all your current posts. I've just put a few up there already. But to add a new one, you just click on that uh, icon, you put the, the post in there, and it can, you know, up to 300 words which is basically a standard post. Um, if it's an event, you select event and then you put the event date and time in. And then if you um, if you want to add a button to it, uh, you can put the link to, like I'll, I'll we'll put this article up there and I'll put the link to this article to learn more. Put put a bit of teaser text in there and then uh, get them to learn to learn more from, from the rest of it. And add a photo to it, you click preview and then you click post once you're happy with how it all looks. You click post or you can go back and edit it further. Okay. Um, it, gives, it gives you information on each step of the way, so it shouldn't be any problem. And then once you've done that, you'll see your post appear here. So when someone does a search for you or your business, these are the articles that will come up. And not only that, Google will index all of these as well. You have to do it manually. There's no way to do it automatically. Um, I don't think so. Not at this stage anyway. Not for Definitely not for smaller businesses like ours. Um, however... It is a great tool, and it's, there's a reason why it's done manually. Is they want it to? If it's important to you, you'll spend the, the five minutes to put it up there. Okay. All right. So um, from from uh, from there, you just um, you just continually post your important articles or your events, or you know you can even just post a photo. Uh, but uh, I would reserve it for um, for events and promotions if you've got products to promote and stuff like that. All right. Uh, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I will talk again soon.